Hi, my name is Soren and I'm a scientist here at Simran Vigak. In this demonstration, I will show you how the Galvano plot potential stat works with different measurements. Uh, so this uh, really small uh, potential stat, which is um, not that much larger than a coin, um, runs with amperometric and volt uh, voltometric uh, measurements. And we will be running cyclic voltometry today. So what we will do is that we'll insert a uh, sensor into the potential stat. Today we're using one of Simran Peacock's own uh, hypervalue sensors. Uh, but the potential stat runs with several different sensors. And so we'll insert the sensor and then we will place the sensor into the computer. We will start the software program, uh, the Galvano plot. Um, and yeah, log in as a guest user. And right now it comes up with one of the old measurements we did, uh, but we'll uh, uh, choose new experiments and we'll make sure that the method chosen is cyclic voltometry. Um, so for, uh, for the cyclic voltometry of potassium fer ferrocyanide a solution, uh, we will run from minus 200 millivolts to 500 uh, millivolts and the scan rate we will use is 50 millivolts per second and we will run three cycles uh, and the resolution we will be using is 10 millivolts so uh, next up then is to cover the electrodes uh, with the solution in question so we will uh, um, use approximately 50 microliters, uh, which is sufficient for covering the electrodes. Um, so we will pipette it onto the sensors and make sure that we cover all three like this. And then we will start the measurements. We'll hit run. And now you see that the cyclic voltometry curve is starting to form. So what cyclic voltometry does is that it varies the potential and you get the current response um, for different potentials. So in this curve, you can see that it has a uh, oxidation peak um, around 400 micro, no, 400 millivolts uh, up here. And then it's starting to um, go back down in potential and eventually you have the reduction peak um, between 0 and 100 millivolts. So it does this three times uh, with oxidizing and reducing the iron uh, in the ferrocyanide uh, solution. Uh, so this is a pretty easy um, example of how we can do a run cyclic voltometry with this uh, small potential stats. So uh, thank you for watching this video.